Hey everyone, Nikki Novak here for the Young Hollywood Network. Don't forget to subscribe because we shoo you everything that's hot in Hollywood fashion. Hey everyone, Nikki Novak here for the Young Hollywood Network at Intermix in Los Angeles. We are continuing our Oscar coverage with Tresemme. We're here to talk to celebrity shoe designer, Brian Atwood. So who are you dressing tomorrow night? Well, I mean, we have so many shoes out to certain people. I think you never know until they're on the red carpet, but uh, my very good friend Melissa McCarthy is up for an award. We grew up together, so that's very exciting. And another friend, Octavia Spencer. So many celebrities have worn your shoes. I mean, I could list them all, but it's more like who hasn't worn your shoes. I know yeah, Jennifer I mean, Lawrence. Is smaller. <laughs> the list is smaller. Jennifer Lawrence, I think, wore them during yes. the nominations. Yes. yes. Is there, uh, when women know they're going to be photographed on the red carpet, what type of shoe photographs well? And should women, is it the color? Or what is it that you sort of uh, encourage celebrities to wear? I think, um, well, for the red carpet, they always love the really high, extreme shoes. I think that, you know, if it's about shine, if it's about color, you know, you're dealing with a red carpet. So obviously, if you want to play on the color, you have to kind of think, you know, what's going to look good on the red carpet. But uh, mainly, especially for Oscar time, because they're in such long gowns, they usually want extra height. So platforms, peep toes are really important. So this season we teamed up with Tresemme to reveal award season secrets. Now I know every woman wants her legs to look longer, so what are some of your secrets for wearing shoes to make that happen? The key staple in anyone's wardrobe is a neutral pump, whether it's a platform pump or whatever, you, you know, personal. But I think a nude pump elongates a silhouette, it's a no-brainer, you don't have to think about it because it works with everything, every color. So these would be red carpet obviously, but... Definitely. Where else can you, like an to after dinner, party? To yeah. an after party. Yeah. And I think also red, like we're playing on color, I think a great open toe shoe, whether it's, you know, choose your color that you like, but I think you should have some color in your wardrobe. Your shoes are known to be really, really comfortable. A lot of <laughs> shoe designers don't consider that. I do. You're very kind I to do, women. I do, because my, my mother reams me. <laughs> That's what it is. It's, it's the mom. Like, that's where it starts. She's like, honey, because everyone has an opinion in my family, and I have gorgeous, strong women, and they all wear my shoes, so they always like, let me tell you, you know. <laughs> and then I'm like this, mm, but no, I always listen to that. What are some of the, um, over the years, like the celebrities looks that have worn your shoes that you sort of remember and go, oh, that was a moment I was just so proud, or someone just looked so incredibly beautiful? Uh, let's see. Um, one of the first times Deborah Messing wore this gladiator sandal, I think it was 2002, on, uh, I think for the SAG Awards, which just really looked amazing. I think Cameron Diaz wore this short gown that was cut in the front, long in the back for the Oscars, which finally you can see the shoe. Madonna's had a few. Lady Gaga actually lo looks pretty insane. We did a pair for her in Milan that's all crystal. That's, that's, uh, really amazing. So would she like call you Lady Gaga and say this is what I want and you sort of work together? Is that how it works? And sometimes and then they'll just say what are you thinking and then it, you know it's good with creative people to give them what you think is good instead of you know always listening to what they want. Obviously you kind of blend everything together but you see what's going on in shoes. You know what's going to be next, what's happening and then it kind of all blends together. Should a woman ever design her outfit around her shoe? Probably. Always. Yes. <laughs> it goes that <laughs> That's way a first. Question right? with me. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but with the Oscars, with parties and that, yeah. how does that collaboration work? Do they show you the dress first, or do you give them yeah, an idea? Yeah, they do. They send the dress, or kind of give them an idea first, and then they start thinking about what works with that. And uh, for Melissa, we gave the shoes first, and then everything else was came up second. So if a woman was going to buy three shoes. What with a the pump. three? Okay. A sandal and a boot, whether it's a ankle boot or a higher boot, definitely start with that. Mm -hmm. 